Hello, everyone. I'm glad you're here today. Let's get right to it. This is going to be about spiritual warfare. That's right. I say spiritual warfare, for we are at war. Now then, if you are a baby Christian, what I'm about to paint for you, the picture I'm going to speak about, is probably something you need to be putting your sights on for something up the path for you. You may not be ready for this kind of battle. This is something to keep in mind, because there's going to be a day that you're going to be needed, and this is what your life will look like. For those of you who are seasoned warriors in Christ, this is for you. And the message is, wake up. Wake up. Get off the pew and get on your knees. Time is running out. Now then, I'm going to give you a word that I believe Father gave me during worship time with Him. Um, once again, it is not anything, if it goes against Scripture, then turn this off and do not listen to me anymore. I believe it aligns with the Holy Scriptures that are in the Bible and that are supreme. At the end of this, I'm going to give you some action items so listen to the end so that you can be prepared for what is upon us, not what's coming, what is here already. All right, I'm getting my journal out. Hang on. I may hear some bumps and pages turning. Okay, let's see. This is May 13th, 2022. In worship to our Lord, I asked... What is coming, Father? And these are the things he revealed to me. <clears throat> Child, there is darkness coming upon the world that you must ready yourself for. And I asked, what kind of darkness? And he said, all kinds. It is your mind and spirit I deem of most importance for you to prepare and I said, but no one listens, Father. What should I tell them? And you can put into that question, what should we tell them? Or you ask him that yourself. So I asked, what should I tell them? And here is what our Lord said. My son is enough for what is soon to be upon you. Time is running out. Repent and follow me. Time is running out. Repent and follow me. That child is what you need to tell them. Then on May 14th, 2022, I, I, I would only describe this as he's, he's continuing this conversation. Because I asked him, Father, is it really going to be as bad as it looks like it's going to be right now? Or am I just thinking like a doomsdayer? Am I just overthinking everything I'm seeing in the world? Because my goodness, everyone, I see believers wringing their hands. And these are warriors that have been believers for 50, 60, 70 years. And they're pacing and they're going, I don't understand what's happening in the world. Everything's different now. I don't know what to do. I'm fixing to tell you what to do through the words of our Father and through Scripture at the end of this. If you're one of those people who are just... <laughs> Bending under the stormy winds that are blowing. My goodness, stand up and be bold in the faith. We have the power of God, the Holy Spirit within us. This is not a time to whimper in the corner, wringing our hands. This is a time to fight by the powers of the Holy Spirit, angelic armies, our Father, His Son, and the miracle of the cross. That is the time we are at right now. We have been living our lives on automatic pilot, passively sitting in pews, singing, Oh, how I love Jesus. Well, now your words are being put to the test. Do you really love him? I'll ask it again. Do you really love him? Or are you just going through the motions? You have to decide that. That's between you and God. But let me continue to read. 
when I asked him, is this really going to happen? Is it going to be as bad as it really looks right now? We have the border open. World War III is upon us. The conflict between Ukraine and Russia, Taiwan and China, Iran and Israel. There's no baby formula in the United States. The United States is begging for baby formula for, uh, from other countries. Did you know that? We have no fuel. And the gas prices are going sky high and are not coming down anytime soon. There are food shortages and the price of the food that's there is something that I'm having trouble affording. I don't know about you. That's a lot going on. And I asked him, am I seeing it accurately, Father? Or am I just being negative? And here's how he responded. The days ahead of you, child. The days ahead of you, child, will be much darker than you can imagine. Even now, people are still sleepwalking through the battle and are casualties without even knowing it. But you, child, hear me, and I have given you this gift. Do not hide it under a bushel, but use it to warn, defend, encourage the faithful. I will tell you what is coming, and the time will be soon, so ready yourself. Okay, I'm going to stop right there and clarify. The gift he's talking about is no different than the gift you have. It's the gift of the Holy Spirit and whatever he deems to be used on his behalf to glorify Christ. You have it, I have it. I'm, no, I'm not special. I'm nothing. I'm a no one in the middle of nowhere. We all have that gift. And so what I am talking about here applies to everyone who's listening. So then I asked him, what exactly is coming, Father? How do I warn and why, why, do, I, why do I warn? I asked him that. And this is what he said. The end, child, that is what is coming. The end of my time in this world I created. I am turning off the lights, and you, child, will see this happen. I will. It will not be pleasant for many. Suffering will be everywhere, but not you, child, not your family. I will protect you. But so many hard hearts will become harder not even able to see me at all. They are the ones to be aware of, for they have no goodness in them. Stay inside, child, and I will take care of all the threats against you. Darkness is coming. You will know. You will not wonder. You will know it's here, and I, your God, will allow it. Prepare, for my floodgates of wrath will wash over your nation." Yes, child, what you see is true. Most people do not see me at all and cannot see what is ahead. For I have left your nation, but not my people. Be warned, what is coming is not devastation, but annihilation. I will and am annihilating the wicked, and a new earth will prevail. Watch and warn, child. Of these things, fear not, I am with you and will speak for you, but warn, child, warn. Few will respond, so be ready for that. Don't let that stop you. Yes, war is upon you, but also danger and starvation. Most have no idea what is coming and what is already here. I have removed myself from the United States. I am finished. What will come now are floods and waves of devastation. Keep joyful in me. Trust in me, and I will never leave you. And then I asked the Lord, when is this happening? And he 
I can only describe it as nearly shouting, but not in anger. Now, now, now. A new heaven and a new earth warn the people. So I am warning you. Now, tomorrow's video, I will give more on that because on May 16th and 17th, he went on to speak on these things. But I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to say, every time he speaks to me personally about taking care of me and my, and my family, he is saying that to you if you are a believer also. That applies to believers everywhere. It was just a personal conversation with me and God. That's why it's in directed personally at me. But I'm sharing it with you. Take it to heart. Time is running out. That is not a new message. That's been the message since the day of Pentecost. Jesus is coming soon. Be ready. And the word soon just means it's God's time, not our time. So we have always needed to have this sense of urgency to the message of Christ, not knowing when He's going to come. That's not a new idea, nor is it anything particularly different than what's been preached since 33 AD. But I'm telling you now, the United States has gone through a very plushy, luxurious period of time, and it's made weak Christians whose armor for the battle may still be hanging in the closet. If your armor for Christ is not even dented or rusty or dirty, then that's an indication you haven't been in the battle at all. I'm going to read from the Holy Scriptures, Ephesians 6.10. Paul the Apostle speaks to the Ephesians, but we can glean insight through the Holy Spirit that he spoke through. Ephesians 6.10, a final word, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on all of God's armors so that put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. I'm going to stop right there, and I want to bring to light what I said earlier. If you're a believer and you're wringing your hands, wondering, what's going on? Why is this happening? This isn't the America I grew up in. And you're pacing and not knowing what to do? The church is dwindling after the pandemic. Our church didn't come back. The numbers are low. Contribution is low. What do we do? He's telling us what to do here. He's fixing to tell us what to do. And he's telling us what's happening. This is to give you clarity. What is happening is in the unseen, the spiritual world. Satan, the king of the earth, is raging a battle, trying to take take every soul he can down to hell with him when Christ comes back. That's what's going on. Our power we have in Christ is so much more, that's an understatement, than what the devil has. And we need to use our power in Christ through the Holy Spirit. Not only to be aware of what's going on, but to rescue the ones he has the grip on. You see, the devil's already lost the war. 
he's going to be doomed to hell. He's in the process of taking everyone with him that he can. Through murder and destruction, he destroys. There is no life in him. If you're listening to this and you're there, turn to Jesus right now. Jesus saves and he loves you so much. But we're going to go on. So let me reemphasize. The battle is with Satan and the unseen. That is what's going on. You don't need to be wringing your hands in the corner wondering what's happening. That's what's happening. So wake up. And here's the action item I was talking about. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so that you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, you will still be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared In addition to all these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Do you realize he's shooting fiery arrows at you? All you got to do is have faith and hold up that shield. Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. Two action items right there. Obviously, you put on the armor. But in verse 18, it says, pray and stay alert. Let me tell you. There is nothing that will dull your senses more than being on your phone all day. Having videos going in, TikTok, music, whatever. Turn your phones off and pray and stay alert. Do whatever it takes to stay alert. The reason I don't drink is because it dulls my senses. The reason why I don't smoke weed is because it dulls my senses. That is exactly where Satan wants me to be. I would encourage you that even social drinking is a road you don't need to be on. You don't need to be on that road. We're in a time right now that you need to be alert. And we need to be in prayer. So if you're a seasoned warrior in Christ... Make sure your armor's on. You probably already know how to put it on. Be in prayer. And I'm not talking about casual, thank you for this food, God, in Jesus' name, amen, kind of prayer. I'm talking about hours of prayer where you're on your knees and your head's covered or you're laying flat on the floor. God help us. Because that's where we're at, folks. So those are the action items I was talking about. Your armor needs to be on. There are fiery arrows coming at you. You need to be in prayer. That is a weapon. That is a weapon and it's very powerful. It's like a spark to gasoline. And you need to stay alert. Because... Crap's hitting the fan. And you better see which direction it's coming from so you can pray against it. That's all I've got right now. Consider these things. I pray it helps you. Do what you need to do to repent and make a difference and never take your eyes off the cross. That is our true miracle, what Jesus did for us. This is Gina Lima Charlie. I'm out.